Hey, it's James. Welcome back to Anohana. Uh, we're at episode 10, which means two episodes left. But that is it. And I'm about to cry, I believe. I don't know. You guys said so. But yeah, you guys probably know the shtick by now. So what we're gonna do is there's going to be a five second countdown. Counting down from five. Because that's what they do. And then after the zero, and then it would go beep or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's gonna sound like bam or like that, something like that. Yeah. You have to sync up your own media. What? Why the hell did I stop speaking? You have to sync up your own media for that. Yeah. Because I. Uh, copyright is a bitch. Yeah, let's do that. Timer goes somewhere around. He. E. 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 But who can help? Here. And it sneezes. Bam! Yeah. I have mints, by the way. Apparently, uh. Caffeine can trigger your anxiety So I'm lowering my caffeine intake and it's killing me so I kind of have to have something in my mouth I forgot to do a recap, I just realized that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we're about to get pirates. That's pretty much it, okay. My mic is... I don't know. Jintan is sending... Oh yeah, Jintan doesn't want Menma to leave as well. That's not a thing. Okay. Jintan's mom. Hmm, espresso. No, I want an espresso. <laughs> Double shots. room is still getting buried. Ha! <laughs> Best response. <gasps> That's the best response. Hobby, cost dressing. <laughs> Itai. <laughs> to be part of it. Yeah. Trash boxes.
I know that feeling. I understand. I don't know. You're neglecting your son. Your uh, your son was alive. That hurts. We're both parties. At least she felt that she understood. Ah. Uh. What's up with my life today, Reese? I like this outfit more. You uh, know, I know it's a serious conversation, but. something to be thankful for. Getting tense. I like it. They're here. Yay. Feeling that sucks. <gasps> You're opening a bag, James. What? 
this one more. in my mouth it's kind of hard to talk oh how oh, 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 this is gonna work okay 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 and this is wide eyed Of course, Adler's gonna be. That's actually a pretty good idea. Oh.
to very desperate. Kinda of creepy, but uh, yeah, it, it, it gets it gets in your head. Hmm, I can talk about that later. This that's an interesting talk. That's a weird bird. I don't know if you heard it. It's weird. Buddhist teachings. Uh huh. And it depends on the values you had and how you lived your life. And if you live fulfillingly, you can have a car there. Starting it. <laughs> we are really gonna do this, okay. <gasps> the weird thing about it is if you have you're gonna have a craftsman that's really amazing this job and you're gonna have a craftsman that you would give the stupidest idea and he would make it work. <laughs> it's this kind of guy. Oh, she got her hair. What the? Yeah, why? Why do uh, girls do that? Okay, good thing. There's one more episode, so I'm not sure. Assurance, please. Yes, please. I, I'm rooting for you, Yukiatsu, on this one. No, don't, don't. Okay. If you're watching this in full screen, your own media, you can see me fidgeting so much. <laughs> Just do it normal. Just do what Papa did. Do what Papa. It's 
go. May mabi. Okay. Don't. Ah. Also watching. expected that she wouldn't because there's one more episode and there was a thing in the like, fourth or third episode about we don't know where Menma is or something like that Yuki also said that so it's kind of confusing I don't know Oh my god! <laughs> nah, everyone's crying and I probably will too. Oh my god, what? This is this, this was this, uh, what? I did not expect this to be tense at all, but it was so tense. Oh yeah, about the flower, we haven't talked about the flower yet. The flower that bloomed that summer. So, oh, tile drop, okay? Okay, 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 okay. What the heck? Okay. I need to process all of this in my brain. My brain, my very small brain. There's so many peaks, audio peaks, because, because I kept going like this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about this episode for a while. Uh, let's jump away from the opening first. Was it Jintan or Popo that sent the... Uh, uh, Jintan sent the letters. The invitations. Okay. Okay. Andro is depressed. Well, I can't blame her. Mm -mm. Here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing about uh, the romance that builds up in like their early days as child. I don't know how old they were, maybe eight, nine, seven, around that age. Let's just go with seven. I don't know. They hope to be around that age with the flashbacks. Um, I'm thinking. I think that having a crush on that. Not a big deal to be honest, because you would most likely forget about it unless that person goes attached to you, and it's usually in the form of childhood friends like neighbors that you usually go attached to. But there's also there's also another thing that that can help with that, and that is trauma. 
and not just any kind of trauma. If, if it's trauma, if it's normal trauma, it wouldn't be this bad. But apparently, I swallowed my mint. I'm apparently they had something to do that Mema shouldn't be able to forgive, and I get the feeling that it's related to Mema's death, which means that if they had something to do directly and or indirectly with Nema's death, then that trauma is already a huge part of them because they were, well, a part of it. So, of course, the emotions that built up from that will continue to build up to their teenage years. And if the trauma isn't dealt with, then it would grow to your adulthood and everything and it would just fuck with your head. And it's already fucking with their heads, and I think it hit Jintan the most. Ah, uh, uh, what's his face? Yuki the second, and Anaru next. Apparently, uh, uh, what? What's this part again? Okay, so so me don't do. Sumi's still being, uh, I mean, it's kind of obvious that she's in love with uh, Yukiatsu, so, yeah, and Yukiatsu just doesn't give a shit about her, to be honest, <sighs> but I like this response so much, you don't know anything about him, height 180 to 1 centimeters, weight 65 kilograms, favorite good food, Yuksu Yushu Hashi cakes, hobbies, cross dressing. <laughs> And here's the thing, like, uh, Yuki Asu is so oblivious to this. <laughs> Be not because he's an idiot, but mostly because he's still in love with Menma. It messed with his head so much that he's still holding on to those emotions. So much so that he made a Menma himself, like a, like a thingamajig with the wig and everything and the dress, to hug at night. Ah, yeah, Yuki Asu is pretty fucked in the head right now. Focus camera, okay. So the thing is, Rumi wants Yukiatsu to be like, why are those, I'm sorry, or at least why, <clears throat> let me repeat that, Yukiatsu would be, should be saying, I'm sorry that they're making you feel that way or, some, or something along those lines, I'm sorry that they're saying these things to you because of me, no, don't spread those rumors and he's only thinking about himself because he doesn't understand how Rumi feels. Uh, this is a turning point for the mom. Uh, let me fix my mic placement. This is a turning point for the mom because uh, I forgot Sa. I forgot his full name. Sakun, uh, Memra's younger brother, finally said something about this. I'm going. Also, did you, have you know? Have you know what my height is? Because I grew so much in the last years, and you haven't noticed anything about me. Was you too focused on Memra? And I like uh, Memra's dad's. Her husband's response to this is that share the sorrow together. You're not alone in sharing the sorrow because um, it's it's very disrespectful to be honest to to uh to actually just forget all of the sadness that came from losing someone you love. It's disrespectful to the person who died. So what she's doing, although is. Ex it's an extreme of that. It's, it's on the extreme end because all she's doing is sorrow. She's not continuing her life. She's stuck in that void, in that time where when her daughter was alive. And yeah, we sh and she probably felt the most sorrow since well, she's the mom. But everyone in the family also felt that, even even her friends, even the super peace busters. Which means that even though you feel the most sorrow, even though you can't handle the sorrow, you are not the only one who loved your daughter. So we can share that sorrow together. Interesting, interesting. I kinda wish Anaru would stop meeting up with you yet, so to be honest. I mean, she said to herself that I won't have a substitute for Jintan, which, uh, to be honest, is, uh, is a kind of kind of an extreme as well. But yeah, the call. Okay, uh, so be because Menma died, he only grew more distant. 
Yeah. Okay. Next up is calling from Rumi to Yuya to saying, I think they're just there, right? Right there. And she's just right there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, she's talking about um something about what Minma gathered them together for without Jintan, and it's a favor about Jintan. I have no idea. Oh, it might be the real wish. It might be the real wish. Oh, that's interesting. Are they here yet? Everyone goes here. Uh, okay. Man was happy. Everyone's happy. And then, why don't we try reenacting the events that took place in it? Okay, so first of all, okay, you can answer your asshole. Why would you want to do that? And also, Popo, why would you want to do that? Like, seriously. And then they talk about this, which is very interesting. I think they answer definitively that day. And then, splash, little flashback. Would you be able to bear losing out to an, to a non-existent Menma clearly and confusingly after she has been pleased? Okay, here's the thing. I understood that. That's a, that's a good Yukiatsu move. Uh, he has a lot of bad moves, but he has this one is a good one. So, Anru needs to move on, to be honest. Everyone here needs to move on. But Anru is holding on so much. And since Yukiyasu is like, Pinning on, pinning for her. This is a good move because um, it would help her uh, accept her situation. Sadly, it's just like that's sadly when when uh, Rumi and Anur were talking. Yeah, your Rumi likes Yukiatsu, but maybe Yukiatsu will go out with you afterwards, and that's be, that'll be your substitute. But apparently, uh, uh, this plan didn't work because Jinta is the only one from here is not subject. Or, 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 another way to look at it is this was his plan all along. Uh, that, that, not this to happen, but for Anaru to accept that Jinta extremely loves Myanmar would never move on. Which would mean that you should give up. That's another thing to look at it, and to be honest. I think that's more likely, which means it's a bad move from Yuki Atsu again. The latter is more likely. Yes. Memo got to grow up normally. With... This, is, this is very sad. I was fidgeting so much in this scene. Because it's so cute and it's so sad, but Jinta just says, it doesn't have to be normal. Wouldn't it be good for you to just. That's very selfish, to be honest, but yeah. Jintan is very emotionally troubled like this is the only closure he he got from Menma ever since the day she died which was years ago Menma will rest in peace uh, I don't think Menma said anything about why but let me let me take a guess let me take a guess and that is the fact that Menma is such a nice girl she's such a nice person that I think that she would rather have the entire gang back together and enjoy their lives without her. And also there's reincarnation. Hmm. <laughs> Mamma turns into a caterpillar. Yeah, that's kinda funny. Mamma turns into a caterpillar. Um reincarnation is uh, interesting. In uh, Buddhism, in Buddhism, Buddhist the reincarnation myth is interesting because the the idea is that you would keep reincarnating until you and you have found enlightenment, until you have found your true self, until you have fulfilled yourself entirely, and then the cycle of reincarnation ends, and then you go to heaven, which is interesting because. Minma has been doing a lot of things for Jintan and the rest of the gang. Even as a, well, a ghost. Uh, so maybe, just maybe, she would go straight to heaven for that. <laughs> also, there, oh yeah, wait, wait, there's another thing in Buddhist lore. It's, uh, 
that's really sad and I kind of don't want to bring this up but I'm gonna bring this up as well um when the child dies before their parents <laughs> dies uh, they go to hell <laughs> and they stack stones for the rest of eternity so that might be a thing <laughs> I'm sorry for bringing that up but that's part of the lore of reincarnation and stuff I said something about this like um, if if you're if you're an amazing craftsman you wouldn't just make amazing stuff you would turn the stupidest ideas and make them work and that guy this guy did it is amazing it's a mad lad and Sakon is here hugs and I smell my sister Eve man what we got okay just making sure that Memo will. I'm with you, Gas, on this one, to be honest. Focus. I'm with you, Gas, on this one, to be honest. Like, man, man deserves rest in peace. I don't know which, uh, which, which philosophy, religion, belief we're going with. If we're gonna mix in Buddhism that they were talking about, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> the stones. I can still stop it. I was so enamored with this. I was so enamored with this. I was smashing this cement wall because Jintan doesn't want this to wear out and look at this. Yes. Let's just yes. I can stop this. I can stop this. Come here, Rita. It was so tense, it was so tense. And this is this is such an amazing uh uh, way to uh, incorporate the ED here because because the the ED is basically about reminiscing about their summer their childhood in summer that's the first time our summer has ended and I won't forget your gates open and dream for the future which is the best thing to say at this moment because they thought at the very least that Manuel would be gone Manuel will be gone now it didn't work but it's such a great way because because I at the very beginning and pretty much the entirety of this episode I was like uh, I was like yeah I maybe mean, not this isn't the wish because there's one more episode but when this showed up I was like maybe this is the wish because they're talking about this right now the Edith place everything I don't know yep Menma is still here Yukiats was like what the fuck and uh yeah they were talking about a flower. They were talking about a flower. We still... I haven't stopped my recording for this one yet. Okay. We still don't know about the flower. Why it's called the flower we saw that day. Why there's so many uh, wilted flowers in that jar. Why in the e why in the uh, end credit scene, Menma said that she found the flower and everyone's gone. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, but I am excited for the last episode. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so interesting. I love it. Okay. Next episode with the last episode. Uh, I am not open for polls, yet, for polls yet, but you can comment down anything you want me to watch. I, I'll say if I watch it already. But yeah, that's it for me. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you dislike, this is like. And if you really liked it, then... I had a really good line right now and I immediately forgot it. Yeah, do nothing if you really don't like it. Shut the fuck off. Yeah, that's it for me.